welcome everybody to day four of the journey home. I can't believe we've already made it this far. I'm super stoked for all of you. Um, so today, before we take any of the poems or practices, uh, I want to show you into one of the shapes that we'll be adding on to today's sequence. Um, in addition, we'll be using a block today. And if you don't have a yoga block handy, you can use a jar, you can use a book, anything that helps you elevate the ground so that it's just more accessible and so that you can keep integrity in your alignment so you're not reaching and pulling and, and compromising your foundation. So grab something that will help you find some height and then just watch here while I demonstrate this posture because when we're in the sequence and while I'm teaching later on, I'll be facing the other way so you won't be able to see the details of my alignment. So I'm just going to show it right now before we get moving. So the posture is called kickstand side plank pose. Well, that's what I call it um, or what I've, I've been taught to call it. But I've heard it called the horizon lunge. I've heard it called nectar of the gods, which is kind of fun. But essentially, we start from a lunge with both hands to the instep of the foot. And in this instance, I'm going to be taking the posture with my left leg forward and my right hand and my right back leg as a support. So you'll plant your right hand all the way down with your wrist just slightly ahead of your shoulder at a diagonal. And then from there, you'll turn all 10 of your toes over towards the left side, and I'll cue it like that. So left toes turn to the left, so you see the whole lower leg pivots, and then the right toes turn to the left as well. So a couple things to keep note of. I'll start at the top. Your front arm is inside plank pose, so it's really strong. I don't want you to collapse into the shoulder or drop your hip. I want you to press down and ascend the pose from your hand, up your elbow, up your shoulder, up your armpit. There's lots of strength here. I like to spin the bicep forward to keep the chest wide open. And then keep that for this leg, if it feels intense in the knee or in the hip, then you can always scoot your heel down. Just walk it down the mat any amount. And we'll warm up before we get into the posture, so hopefully we'll have some more space. Press down into this foot and this hand to lift your hips rather than let them drop down, which might happen with fatigue. And then finally, the back foot, sometimes the back ankle will sickle like this. I want you to be on the pinky toe side of your foot and then press down into it really actively so everything that is pressing down presses down so that everything that is up can get really light. And eventually the full posture will look something like this, really sweet into strengthening, but also opening the side body and the hip. So that's where we'll end up eventually. Um, let's find a seat. Come cross-legged, come onto your shins. Oh, that's really hard to do while you're talking. <laughs> and I'll read you a poem. Mary Oliver, of course. This one's called Storage. And it says, when I moved from one house to another, there were many things I had no room for. What does one do? I rented a storage space and filled it. Years passed. Occasionally, I went there and looked in, but nothing happened. Not a single twinge of the heart. As I grew older, the things I cared about grew fewer, but were more important. So one day I undid the lock and called the trash man. He took everything. I felt like the little donkey when his burden has finally lifted. Things, burn them, burn them, make a beautiful fire. More room in your heart for love, for the trees, for the birds who own nothing, the reason they can fly. Hmm, so. If you haven't already, connect your palms in front of your heart, your wide open heart. Root down, press down into everything that is touching down. And then get light through everything that is touching the light. Scan your body for 
your storage containers, the spaces where you grip on, hold on. And know that much of this gripping and holding is unconscious, so it's not completely your responsibility in this moment to just open your hands and let it go. These are years often of accumulations of physical tension that come to be when our body doesn't have the resources to deal with a thing in a moment. So there's no need to judge if you have stiffness or a nagging ache. You're doing everything that you can. You've done enough already. So if you find while you're scanning an area that even when you ask it nicely to let go, to let go, to let go, and it won't let go, rather than meeting that with like an attitude that it needs to be fixed, that it's something that needs to be resisted or blurred over, offer it the same celebration, the same seenness as you offer to the spaces that feel light and airy and free as a bird. Maybe this is the beginning of its softening. Please exhale all of your air. And take a slow, smooth, deep inhalation. Oh. Gently bow your chin. Allow your hands to rest in your lap, palms face up. With eyes closed, lift your head and gently open your eyes. Okay, please meet me on your hands and your knees. Keep your block at the top corner of your mat so that it's handy for you when we get there. <clears throat> so shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Let's take cat cow today as you Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, open your chest. And as you exhale, start at your tail, anchor it down, hollow your navel in, and press the back of your heart up towards the ceiling. Now stay right here. And as you stay here, receive a breath as if it's carving in between your shoulder blades. Stay for your exhale too. Good. Now as you inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhaling, round out your spine. Arch. And round. Find a neutral spine. And sink your hips back towards your heels, child's pose, toes tucked. A little different, round yourself forward, hands and knees, back of your heart wide, breathing in. And as you exhale, keep your arms straight, drop your hips, squeeze your bum, lift your chest forward and through. Stay for your inhalation. And as you exhale, come on back, child's pose, tuck toes. Slow round forward, deep breath in. Drop hips, lift heart, full breath out. Stay inhaling. And as you exhale, child's pose, tuck toes. One more time, wave forward, round forward, breathe in. 
Heavy hips, light heart, upper arm bones press backwards. Stretch your belly, inhale your breath. And as you exhale, come on back through child's pose to down dog. Keep your knees generously bent and let your head, your face drop. Stretch your spine, press your hands, press your feet. Get long through your arms. Claw your fingertips, ripple forward, high plank pose. Come to the tips of your toes. Connect the inner thighs, inner feet. Breathe in. Keep the plank as you exhale, point your right toes straight back. Three-legged downward facing dog, please reach your right heel up high to the sky. Keep pressing your hands evenly as you exhale, bend your knee, roll your thigh up and open. Release your head, let it go. On your next inhale, rise up onto the ball of your left foot, squeeze your left thigh, point your right toes up, take a breath in. And as you exhale, curl your knee in towards your nose, pause and place your right foot between your thumbs. Slow sink your left knee down towards the ground, engage through your inner thighs and rise up through both arms, low lunge, breathe in. Okay, a little different today as you exhale, bring your hands down, shift your hips back, Ardha Hanumanasana, bow. And then right away as you inhale, bend into your front knee and gather your arms up towards the ceiling, deep full breath in. Hands down, half splits as you exhale. Right on your breath. Inhale to come on up. Get long, and as you exhale, hands down, half splits. Two more. Inhale. Give back and exhale. Breathe. and let go. Now as you inhale, please bend into your front knee, lift up through your back knee and peel your right arm up and open towards the sky, twisting, rotate, deep breath in. As you exhale, listen close, right arm comes underneath of your right hamstring, the back of your leg. Work your front leg towards straight any amount. Head goes heavy. Go again, bend into your front knee and peel your right arm up high, twist, breathe in. And as you exhale, wrap your right arm underneath of your right hamstring and bow. One more time, bend front knee, reach up high, deep inhale. And as you exhale, please place your right hand to the instep of your right foot, crawl your fingers, turn your toes through to the wide edge of your mat, parallel your feet. Put more weight into the inner ankles. Pull up on your kneecaps, firm your thigh tops. Elongate your spine, take your breath in. And as you exhale, soften your elbows backwards and bow. Get long through spine, weight in heels, sit bones up, big inhale. And as you exhale, soften in, fold. One more time, deep breath in. And as you exhale, fold in. Elongate, inhale breath. As you exhale, recrawl your hands towards the top of your mat, spin, spin on your feet, step your weight into your right foot, float your left toes, squeeze your inner thighs, take a breath in. And as you exhale, step and fold to the top of your mat, head goes heavy. Long spine, inhaling. And as you exhale, pour yourself in. Let's bend the knees, sink your hips, rise your arms, deep inhale. Chest to thighs, go slow, exhale. Now stand all the way up, reach all the way up, hook your thumbs, lift your armpits, lift your chest, deep inhale. And as you exhale, connect your palms, hinge at your hips and forward fold. Find length, inhale, halfway lift. With your out breath, touch your fingertips to the earth, take a big step back with just your left foot. 
Stay high on the ball mound of your back foot. Bend your front knee generously and rise up. High lunge, deep inhale breath. Just once as you exhale, string your arms back behind you, chest to thighs. As you inhale, straighten your front leg, reach your arms up, look up, inhaling. With your out breath, hands come down to earth, press your palms, reach up and back, three-legged downward facing dog. For the inhale, as you exhale, right knee up into your right armpit. Three-legged, as you inhale, reach up high. Exhaling, right knee, left armpit, cross your body, look between your thumbs. Three-legged, inhale, breath. Curl knee to nose as you exhale. Three-legged, plank. Land all ten toes, now inhale. And as you exhale, knees go wide, hips sink back. Stretch your arms back, rest your shoulder heads onto your knees your upper thighs, and drop your forehead. And rock your forehead side to side along the earth. And smooth out anything that has accumulated across your brow line. Good. Bring your hands forward, round your spine forward, take a breath in, high plank pose, pick up your kneecaps, firm your thighs, squeeze them in. As you exhale, point your left toes straight back. Three-legged downward facing dog on your inhalation. As you exhale, bend into your left knee, roll your thigh up and open, keep reaching through your palms evenly. Rise up onto your right tippy toes, squeeze your right thigh, and point your left toes to the ceiling. Take your breath in. And as you exhale, please curl your knee to your nose and place your left foot between your thumbs, bringing your back knee down to the ground. Then find your foundation and rise up from it. Reach your arms up, look up, breathing in. And as you exhale, hands come down and hips shift back, bow in half splits. As you breathe, low lunge, inhale, root down, rise up. And as you exhale, flow down, hands down, hips back, half splits. Again, bend front knee, reach your arms up high. Again, as you exhale, hands go down, hips go back. Go on your breath, friend. Breathe in. Exhale. Rise up. And pour in. One more. Down to earth. On your next inhale, bend into your front knee, lift up through your back knee and peel your left arm up and open towards the sky. Twist, breathe in. Now as you exhale, wrap your left arm underneath of your left hamstrings, work your front leg towards straight and bow. Once again, bend front knee, reach your left arm high, breathing in. And as you exhale, wrap yourself in, front leg goes straight or straight-ish. One more time, rise up, reach up, inhale, breath. This time as you exhale, left hand to the instep of your left foot, crawl your fingers, turn your toes to the wide edge of your mat. Just once, elongate, inhale, breath, halfway lift. With your exhale, fold in and bow. Elongate, inhaling. As you exhale, recrawl your hands towards the top of your mat, spinning on your feet, step into your left foot, float up your right toes, point them straight down, breathe in. And as you exhale, step and fold, top of your mat, head heavy, heart heavy, belly on thighs. Chair pose, sit your hips, lift your heart up, arms up, deep breath in. 
And as you exhale, stretch your arms back behind you, chest to thighs. Stand all the way up, reach all the way up, hook your thumbs, lift your heart, your armpits, strong legs, breathe in. And as you exhale, connect your palms, hinge and fold. Find length, inhaling. With your out breath, fingertips touch down, right toes step all the way back. Bend deeply into your front knee, lunge, keep your back knee lifted, root down, rise up high, lunge, inhale breath, navel in, chest lifted. As you exhale, string your arms back behind you, chest to thighs. Press into your front foot, straighten your front leg, reach your arms up, inhale. Embrace the wobbles. And as you exhale, hands come down, three-legged downward facing dog, left heel high, up and back, take a breath in. With your out breath, carve your left knee up into your left armpit, claw your fingertips, lighten your brain, your skull. Three-legged inhale. Now as you exhale, left knee crosses your body to your right, upper arm looks straight between your thumbs. Three-legged on the inhale breath. With your exhale, curl in knee to nose. High plank, inhaling, knees wide, child's pose, arms draped back, forehead drops down. And once you find your softening, surrender to the force of gravity once again. Gravity, the breath, they're all friends that are right here for you to lean on. Anytime you remember. Slowly smooth out your breath. Soften what you can consciously soften. And we begin again. Please place your hands forward. Round forward to your high plank, taking your inhalation. Pick up your knees, firm your thighs, and as you exhale, come on back, downward facing dog. From this downward facing dog, crawl your hands towards your feet at the back of your mat. Bend your knees as you make your way. Bend your knees so much so that you can feel your ribs and your belly on your thighs and let the weight of your skull go so generously that you can feel traction in your spine. And if you'd like a little more traction in your spine, without pulling or forcing, interlace your fingertips to the base of your skull. And then again, meet gravity. Gravity will help the traction accumulate along your spine without any effort through the arms. Just let the arms go heavy. Hook at the ridge of your skull bone. Feed your breath along your backbone. Good, inhaling. And as you exhale, gently release all of this. Fingertips to the earth, halfway lift your spine, breathe in. Breathing out, touch down, downward facing dog. Set your hands, connect your feet, wave forward, high plank pose, inhaling. Keep your plank as you exhale, point your right toes straight back. Three-legged on your inhalation, and as you exhale, bend your knee, roll your thigh, squeeze your left thigh as you rise up onto the ball mound of your left big toe. As you inhale, straighten your right leg, tippy toes to the ceiling, take your inhale breath. As you exhale, curl your knee in towards your nose, slow motion, place your right foot in between your thumbs. Back knee sinks down to earth, rise up through both arms, inhaling, low lunge. Hands down, half splits, exhale. Bend your front knee, lift your back knee, peel your right arm up high, twist, inhale. 
And as you exhale, wrap your right arm underneath of your right hamstrings, work your front leg straight-ish, any amount. Bend into your front knee again, peel your right arm up high, twist, breathing in. And as you exhale, right hand down to the instep of your right foot, crawl your fingers, turn your toes through to the wide edge of your mat. Elongate on the inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, fold in, make that sound. Halfway lift again as you inhale. As you exhale, recrawl your hands towards the top of your mat, spinning on your feet. Step into your right foot and float your left toes. Point them straight down towards the ground. Take your breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can keep your left leg straight as you step it towards the top of your mat. As your foot lands, your heart bows in, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Inhaling to rise, arms go up, hips go down. Chest to thighs as you exhale, sweep back. As you breathe in, rise your arms up and draw your left knee up into your chest. As you exhale, press your palms forward, press your left heel forward. Keep your legs strong, both of them. Take your inhale. As you exhale, flip your palms to the ceiling, stretch your left heel back behind you as you bend into your right knee slowly, slowly. Inhale, hover. And as you exhale, left toes land backwards. Rise to your high lunge, take an inhale breath. Chest to thighs as you exhale. Straighten your front leg, gather your arms up, look up, inhaling. And as you exhale, open up into the warrior two. Bend deeply into your front knee, lunge, lean into your back hand, your left hand. Yeah, settle your shoulders. Engage your inner thighs, pull them towards one another. Straighten your front leg, connect your palms up and overhead. Just one time, look up, breathe in. As you exhale, sink in, warrior two. We're adding the triangle pose today, hence the block. So as you inhale, straighten your front leg, reach your right arm up high, look up, take an inhale. Keep the front leg straight, and as you exhale, start to stretch your right arm forward, 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 and down. My block's out of reach. <laughs> but you'll place your block behind your front calf, behind your front shin, so that your right side waist stays really long, left arm goes up high. Squeeze through your inner thighs. You can straighten your leg, your front leg, without hyperextending your knee. So hyperextending your knee would look something like this, and it feels awful. So find the space before that when you're stretching the muscles, but not into the joint, not into the ligament, and then press into the hand that's down. Reach up higher through the arm that's up. Take your inhale breath. From here, we're transitioning to the kickstand side plank pose. So as you exhale, circle your left arm forward and down, square your hips. Move your block off towards the side. So your left wrist is ahead of your shoulder. All 10 toes pivot towards the right side. Root your right big toe mound. Press forward and down with your left hand. Press down the outer edge of your left foot and peel your right arm up towards the sky. Good, full, deep breath in. As you exhale, swim your right arm up and overhead. Plant your right hand down. Squeeze your right inner thigh to your upper right arm, arm bone. So your upper body is in high plank pose. Your right knee squeezes up into the tricep. Keep your skull floating, don't let it drop. And then pluck your right foot up off of the floor, keeping your right knee up into your right armpit like a three-legged plank pose. On your next inhale, reach up and back, three-legged downward facing dog. Full deep breath in. As you exhale, please draw your right knee to your left armpit. Stay or spin to the inside of your left foot. Slide your right leg along the floor to the left and reach your left arm up high. Same thing, right bicep spins forward. Stay for a breath in. And then as you exhale, bring your left hand down, unravel your legs, reach your right heel up high, you can stay, or today, as you exhale, bend your knee, 
roll to the outside of your left foot and step your right foot back behind you. Wild thing. Lift your hips. Spin your left bicep forward. Hold the base of your skull and air out your heart. Full deep inhale breath. Three-legged downward facing dog as you exhale. Right heel goes high. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, curl in knee to nose. High plank inhale. Ooh, child's pose. Knees wide, hips back. Drape your arms back. Plug your forehead down. And relax. Smooth and rock your forehead side to side. Observe as your body goes from upregulated to downregulated. Watch the sensation in your body. There might be like a contracture around your neck, your shoulders, your wrists. There might be that radiant residue after doing something really powerful and challenging and getting through it and then finding rest. There might be a little bit of both. There's certainly space for all of it. Sweetly, gracefully, easefully ride these waves. Take a deep breath in and a deep full breath out. Okay. Now slowly bring your hands underneath of your shoulders, press down, rise up. Take your block or your water bottle or whatever you're using for a prop onto the left side of your mat exactly where you'll need it in a few minutes and come on forward into your high plank pose taking your breath in stack your shoulders over your wrists squeeze your thighs squeeze your bum keep the plank as you exhale point your left toes straight back three-legged downward facing dog as you inhale and as you exhale bend your left knee roll your thigh open Coming high onto the ball of your right foot, squeeze your right thigh, and then point your left toes to the ceiling. Vacuum your ribs in, take a breath in. And with your exhale breath, please curl your knee in towards your nose and place your left foot between your thumbs. Back knee comes down towards the ground, and arms rise up towards the ceiling. Low lunge, inhale, stretch your armpits. And as you exhale, hands come down, hips shift back, bow in. As you inhale, bend into your front knee and lift up your back knee and peel your left arm up high, inhaling all the way. And as you exhale, wrap your left arm underneath of your left hamstrings, work your front leg towards straight and bow in. Come into the twist again, bending front knee, reach your left arm up high, deep inhale. And as you exhale, place your left hand to the inside of your left foot, crawl your fingers, turn your toes through to the wide edge of your mat. One halfway lift to elongate, breathe in. And as you exhale, soften in and fold. Find length again, breathing in. As you exhale, recrawl your hands towards the top of your mat, spin, spin on your feet, step into your left foot and float your right toes up and away from the ground, point them straight down. Inhale. 
And as you exhale, try to keep your right leg straight as you slowly step it down to meet your left one. When your foot lands, your heart lands to your thighs. Utkatasana, sink your hips, lift your heart up, arms up, deep breath in. Chest to thighs, full breath out. Gather your arms up, draw your right knee up, take a breath in. As you exhale, press your palms forward, press your right heel forward. Stay for your inhalation, and then as you exhale, palms face the sky. Keep your right leg straight, bend into your left knee, and hover your right toes back behind you. Inhale, breath. And as you exhale, slowly step your right foot all the way back. High crescent lunge, inhaling. As you exhale, string your arms back, chest to thighs. Straight front leg, arms go up, deep breath in. Exhale, open up, warrior two, spin your back heel down, bend deeply into your front knee, lunge. Lean into your back hand. Head over heart, over hips, sit low. And straighten the front leg, connect your palms up and overhead, look up, breathe in. As you exhale, sink in, warrior two. For triangle pose, straighten just your front leg, reach your right arm, left arm up high, look up, inhaling. And as you exhale, start to carve your left arm forward, forward. As you carve your left hip crease backwards, backwards without locking out your knee, place your left hand down onto your block, your prop. Keep carving your left hip crease back as you peel your right arm up towards the sky. Balance your front foot so that you're not completely on the inner or the outer edge of your foot. Drink up through the soles of your feet, hollow your navel, stretch your limbs, take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, stretch your right arm up and overhead, bicep by your ear, plant your right hand down towards the ground so that your wrist is just ahead of your shoulder. Kickstand side plank pose, all 10 toes pivot towards the left. Root your left big toe mound down, spin to the outside edge of, edge of your back foot. Squeeze your right inner thigh into your left inner thigh and peel your left arm up high. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, stretch your left arm up and overhead, bicep by your ear. Inhaling and with your out breath, left hand comes down to the instep of your left foot. Front knee over front heel. Shoulders over your wrists, strong back legs, strong arms like high plank pose. Keeping this, breathe in. As you exhale, squeeze your left knee into your left armpit, pluck your foot off of the floor, elbow to the knee. Three-legged downward facing dog as you inhale your breath. As you exhale, please cross your left knee to your right armpit, stay or spin to the inside of your right foot, slide your left leg long, Peel your right arm up high, lift your hips, breathing in. As you exhale, unwinding, three-legged downward facing dog or to flip your dog, roll to the outside edge of your right foot, step your left foot back behind you, keep your hips buoyant, press forward and down with your right hand, hold the base of your skull, breathe. Inhale. And as you exhale, unwind. Three-legged downward facing dog. Receive a breath in. Knee to nose as you exhale, round in. High plank in breath. Knees wide, child's pose. Arms back, go inside. and have an experience with your breath, with your blood, with your nervous system, with your mind, with your emotions, with your sensations, with gravity. And through this practice, we are 
oiling, we are burning, we are clearing. So if you want to run away, if you want to close your laptop, it's normal, you're doing it. And you can do that as many times as you need to do it until you stay. Until you stay in and through the fight. In and through the flight. To experience this wisdom of your body where you come through a little bit clearer, you see what you're capable of. Whatever is presenting itself to you right now, listen. Without any shoulds or judgments or ought tos, just listen. Please slide your hands forward, come all the way forward onto your belly. Cactus your arms and rest your right cheek down to the ground. And allow your right cheekbone and jawbone and collarbone to drop. And then the neck between those, those landmarks, let that drop too. Let your chest soften. As you inhale, lift your head, look down. And then as you exhale, switch so your left cheek comes down. And then do the same. Drop your cheekbone, drop your jawbone, drop your collarbone, drop the front of your left shoulder. Let the neck between these spaces soften too. And do this on your breath as you inhale, lift, look down, and... As you exhale, allow your right cheek to rest. Really, really let it go. And then lift, look down, and as you exhale, look over towards the right and let your left cheek rest down and really, really ha, uh, let it go. Back and forth like this. I won't talk you through it, but try to notice any subtle softening across your neck and your chest. Everything that you feel is fine. Once you feel balanced, outstretch your left arm and roll onto your back. Scoot yourself onto your mat. Draw your knees up towards your armpits, hold onto your kneecaps and allow your spine to traction, lengthen here. Today, with a gentle holding to your knees, start to make circles, stir your thigh bones and your hip sockets wide, forward, together, and then back towards you. And then the opposite way, forward, wide, towards you and together. Good. Let your feet go wide, let your knees fall in, rest your hands onto your belly.
And though it's not your belly doing the breathing, can you reach your breath there now? Try to fill the palms of your hands with your breath. Feel them rise and swell as you inhale. Feel them sink and soften as you exhale. And then slide one of your hands to your low ribs or up to your chest. And see, exhale all your air. See if you can start by filling the hand that's on your belly. Keep inhaling, fill the hand that's on your heart. Keep inhaling, expand to your edges. And then exhale, let it, let it, let it go. Inhale, belly. Inhale, your heart. The space between. And exhale, clear. Once more, breathe in, belly. Heart space. Full expanse. Release, relax. Let your hands fall where it feels organic, a space on your body that brings you comfort. Soften what you can consciously soften under your skin. And stretch your right arm up and overhead, roll to the right. Rest your head onto your bicep, curl your knees into your chest. And keep rolling down to turn up. Come into your seat any way you'd like to sit. Connect your palms in front of your heart, please. Lift your chest, humble your chin. Exhale all your air. Take a slow, smooth, deep inhalation. Namaste.